Good morning, everybody. So, back on trail out here in the Egland Air Force Base property, and uh, it is a brisk but beautiful morning. The ground right now is pine straw. My knee is loving that. I am so glad that I listened to my body and took that zero yesterday. Right now, my knee feels pretty good. So. Uh, we'll see how it goes throughout the day. I'm not going to be doing any 25s or anything like that. Probably for the rest of the hike because I uh, don't want that thing to flare up on me again. But uh, today uh, I'm going to, I think the campsite is called Red Deer. And it ends up being 17, 18 miles, I think. So. Uh, that's the plan and then I've got another 17 tomorrow to get to the campsite it gets me to a road walk into Crestview Crestview to Navarre and Navarre to the end so that's what you do on your day off is you kind of plan what you're going to be doing and so I spent a lot of time looking at the guide yesterday and so far, this is a beautiful section uh, in the woods. Trail is well maintained. Uh, ground is soft. It's all good. All right, more later. <laughs> I guess somebody gave up on the, uh, the high heel shoes for hiking. <laughs> Just a sign crossing one of the dirt roads here. That's pretty funny. All right, this is a beautiful section, well maintained, wide. I haven't hit one spider web this morning, knock on wood. So, this is good. So I was walking up this way, started to get a little winded. Felt like there was like no oxygen in the air or something. I was breathing hard, could hardly move, and just realized I am now at the highest point on the Florida Trail of a huge elevation, 272 feet. Hopefully I'll go down, I know I'll go down from here and I'll be able to catch my breath. <laughs> So this was unexpected. Got a thousand mile marker here and an awesome lime green bench. So I think I'm going to take a break. All right, so here's an example of several of the creeks that are running through here. 
I don't know if it's all the same creek and I'm just running around it, but uh, right here at Eglin Air Force Base, uh, this is probably the most well-maintained, well-kept part of the Florida Trail that I've been on. So, kudos. Very nice. <laughs> this is really interesting, all this, uh, uh, I guess it's called deer moss. It's, it's some kind of lichen from what I understand, but it's kind of spongy. Uh, but around here, looks like it snowed. It definitely didn't snow. <laughs> but, uh, man, it's uh, obviously a rich environment for this stuff. Visually, pretty wild. All right, this is pretty cool here. Abandoned railroad tracks. So, I don't think I've ever seen that. But these are well grown over. You would think in the uh, iron alone they would come pull these up for scrap, but I don't know. Guess not. So far the day has been a beautiful walk. Headed that way. All right, here is my stopping point for the night. Water was a little bit further down the trail. Got myself stocked up. Headed back to the site. This actual campsite uh, has little to no flat spots, so uh, they kind of go a little off of the normal area to dig me out a flat spot. Flatter. <laughs> Alright, I'll show it to you when I get up here. Alright. Little mailbox here with the trail register in it, which I didn't close all the way. Get that done. And little ammo box. Really nothing in there. Fire ring, a couple of benches. And I am set up back here. And I had to get up above this hill. Find me a little flat spot. So let me filter this water. And I'll do one from the tent later on. Alright, ended up doing I guess about 15 miles today. And he feels pretty good, kept some Advil going, but uh, tomorrow I'm going to push it a little bit more and going to do about 21 or 22 to get into the town of Crestview and uh, then turn the corner of Crestview and head down toward the beach. So that's the way the trail goes and that's the way I'm going. So we'll see you in the morning.